Hey everybody, this is Kasu and welcome to day 8 of Kanga week. Today we'll be going through Kanga professions. Kanga profession is a bit more of a technical side, like actually technical side mod, where uh, it is to let players or rather server admins to let players in your server role play as a certain uh, class, so to speak. So in my inventory, uh, there's not much to show, but in my inventory I have two books. One is the admin book and the other one is the uh, rather the professions admin book and the professions book first let's go through the professions book so the professions book when you open will basically allow you to choose your profession uh what profession you can choose from depends on what the server admin adds there are four predefined or rather already included professions that you can uh that you don't need to input which is the uh, all the other four mods that we uh, went through on from day one to four, which is blacksmith, farmer, taverner, uh, basically uh, culinary, and physician, which is uh, Kenga medical. So these four are the base uh, classes, our calling classes, are the base classes for uh, our jobs in Kenga professions. And uh, only in only rather only the blacksmith can become weaponsmith or armor smith uh, as you broke as you progress so uh, the requirements and stuff are shown here like all this here and free items and stuff can be included inside later on I, I can show you how so for example i want to be a blacksmith i'll unlock the profession and now i am a blacksmith and i only can do what a blacksmith can do Normal thing to note is that the maximum profession uh, is that you can allow on the player is not shown. However, it can be edited inside the uh, INI settings. So now that I have, you know, became a blacksmith, uh, I cannot become a farmer, a taverner or a physician. But I can upgrade myself or basically uh, change my job or rank up my job to either a weaponsmith or a armorsmith to which i basically can do whatever an armorsmith can however that means that i cannot uh, in this case or i can become a weaponsmith too meaning i'm not i don't need to be tied down to one so any so that's what this means is that any uh jobs affiliated with blacksmith can be taken and it doesn't count towards the maximum profession as it's like a tree like a skill tree that kind of thing now let's say you are a server admin and you're like okay i want to make other than these four jobs i want to make other jobs for example i want to make a gunsmith i want to make um maybe a saddle smith i want to make uh the, an animal rearer uh and all these kind of stuff how do i do it well first start uh you can either a go to your ini setting and set it or b an easier way is pull out this professions admin book that only can be spawned in and once you open it up you can see all of these items i myself am not exactly very very uh what's the word very mm, understanding of what the items or what these things are however uh or how these things work however um you can uh from what i can understand is that all these stuff, uh, for example, let's say the blacksmith uh, has a grouping and a profession as these two grouping, blacksmith and profession. If I go to farmer, it's farmer and profession, taverner, taverner, profession, physician, physician, profession. But when you go to weaponsmith and armorsmith, as you can tell, it is armorsmith or weaponsmith and blacksmith. So from my understanding, this is how you can classify them under subclasses. And let's say you want to add a new profession, like, okay, let's say I'll make a new profession. New profession, I'll call it, uh, for example, uh, Dinosaur Tamer, okay? And the description is, can tame dinosaurs and nothing else. Then, uh, this, you can add basically all the different kinds of engram in, like basically you can limit the engrams of what a dinosaur tamer or whatever class you want to do into uh, the class itself so that uh, once it 
uh, so that once they had they become the like for example in this case the dinosaur tamer, uh, they can only craft certain items and they cannot craft what a farmer can craft. Also, for the grouping wise, uh, as I said just now, it can be under a profession, and if, and also it can be under dinosaur tamer. Then I can maybe classify it as, uh, carnivore tamer or herbivore tamer. So the in with this particular item the number of classes you can make is infinite you can think of anything you can make every single uh thing in the game very niche you can make it until every single uh part of the game has a job or you can make it as loose as possible as how we are now and ultimately this is all up to the how the server admin plays around with it as i have seen on the uh, discord group there's actually some pretty interesting classes that uh, some people have uh, taught up uh, for example a saddle maker a trader and as i suddenly thought, thought on the spot dinosaur tamer and yeah that will be actually it for this mod as i said this mod is more on the actual technical side of the game rather than the uh, gameplay part of the game and with that i'll be ending this uh, mod showcase here and i hope that uh with this mod showcase uh some people i don't know why is there floating mortar and pestle behind me but uh some server admins can think of some creative ideas and make uh a actual true role-playing uh server for everyone to enjoy and with that i shall end this uh mod showcase here and with that we have come to the end of day eight of kenga week Tomorrow will be the last day of Kanga Week, meaning that I will probably be back uh, in uh, my home country and I can start streaming and do other stuff again. And tomorrow's uh, Kanga Mod will be very, very much related to this particular uh, Kanga Profession Mod. And with that, I shall end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!